in the Dahlia pasture. Um, this video is going to be on my favorites. And here's my favorite shopping bag. Somebody gave it to me with stuff in it, but not Kate Spade. But isn't it cute? All right. Let's do my favorite assortment of things. This is the Fruit Tea Style Brilliantine Shine. And why I like it, it helps tame the frizzies. It's supposed to make your hair shine, and it does. But my hair now in its old age is getting frizzy. And that really seems to help. My favorite brush this summer has been the Mineral Powder number 45 from Sephora. And I use it in my um, Chanel Universal bronzer, cream bronzer, and I also use it for foundation, and it's so soft, I wish you could feel it. Um, I like the dome shape. I have a, a Sigma flat top one, but this one's turned out my favorite, probably because it's a little softer. And I'm just, since I have a bag, I'm just grabbing what comes out of the top. I've been using a lot of my Mali eyeshadow in Twilight for um, primer on my lids, up through the crease. I don't use it on the highlight part. So that part doesn't get prime, but um, really enjoying that. It's just a real basic taupey color, so I can put whatever color eyeshadow on top. I've been enjoying by somebody gave me a Cholet, Soleil Tan de Chanel. Uh, what is it? Four Facets Bronzing Powder, and of course I can't take out the. I use its brush, but I can't not have its little plastic. But um, this really works well. Just I just swipe it and then go mm -mm, and then kind of take it this way and, and blend it in. And it works out really good color for me. I've been using, and I'm probably, t let's see if I hold it in the sun. I think I'm about halfway done with this. This is Skin MD Natural Shielding Lotion, and this is the one with SPF, and I think it's a 15. See it, but anyway, um, I've been using it in the morning and underneath makeup, and then I go eat. I put it on in the morning, and then I go eat breakfast, and then I put makeup on top. And um, especially in the summer, because I'm out here more than in the winter, and uh, I feel like I'm getting some protection, and it really is nice for my skin. Uh, oh well, of course I have my plug of my JBS Farm soaps, but my favorite soap. Well, this month, because <laughs> I'm using it right now, is the Sugar Crush. And I named it Sugar Crush for several reasons. Um, in it, um, and in different chunks and things, I have pink sugar, lemon sugar, and hello sugar. So it's kind of a sweet lemon, more of a sophisticated blend. And so, um, and then on the top, I have sugar on it too. Uh, these sugar pearls that, uh, you know, you can get for cake decorating. And then I put in a little bit of iridescent body safe glitter. Everything's body safe. And some ho ha ha beads. And I say it funny, I know. But anyway, the white ones didn't show up, so I had to put red ones in. So I call it Sugar Crush because I'm absolutely hooked on I'm absolutely hooked on the game Candy Crush on my phone. So what do you do? You buy a cell phone and play games on it. But this has been my favorite soap this month. This summer I've been using a lot of my Laura Mercier artist palette. This is the first one. I figure I better make myself use the first one a whole bunch before I <laughs> make dibbits in the next one. Because the next one does have the African Violet and I think it has Vanilla Nuts too. But um, I, I do enjoy all the colors. And I'll make myself not always use the African Violet. The other palette that I've really been enjoying is the Too Faced Chocolate. And they're just my kind of colors. They've got shimmer, and they've got matte, and yeah, they're a lot of the same kind of colors, aren't they? Well, we keep buying the same colors over and over. Let's hold them up together. Oh, yes. Vastly different, right? But I like pulling out palettes because I can just pull it out, and I don't have to keep digging and find individual um, singles. Um, I love my NARS singles. I love my Chanel. I only have one single. But then I gotta remember to pull everything else out that goes with it in a palette. You just, you know, you've got your new. Anyway, moving on. Um, I've been using a lot of the NARS Outlaw Blush. And it is just a nice. Um, I'm getting away from just straight peach or pink, but this has a little bit of both and a little bit more of the berry to it. And I, on me, I like the browns and the berries. 
Oh, here's the other JBS farm thing that um, has been my favorite. And I have Satsuma and Lemon Cake. One other one left. Um, I'll make some fall ones in a, in a while, but right now in, in the house I'm um, melting the lemon cake. And the reason I like these is because I don't have an open flame going. I've got a tart warmer that I got from Bath and Body Works. Yeah, Bath and Body Works. And I don't know if they still sell them, but if you can find um, just a little warmer without a flame and, you know, I can plug it in and I feel safe and I can still smell wonderful scents. Now, for a mask, um, I'm still using up. Uh, things last me forever. And I still like best, because I've got other masks too, but is the micro delivery peel from Philosophy. And you put on this, you'll see I don't have a whole lot left. You put on this gritty stuff. And this has a tiny bit of citrus smell. And you put that on and you work it in a little bit. And I go over my lips. And then you put on this. Uh, lactic salicylic acid acti activating gel and when you put it on top of the other it all fizzes up and then I hop in the shower and wash it all off and oh man baby smooth I've been using up teeny bit by teeny bit the MAC select cover up concealer and I put it under here or I'll do that V under your eyes or something but I'm making myself use concealers more better use them Still using up my Prescriptive's Garnet um, lip pencil, and while it's very dark, if I put like a nude over it, and then I'm trying to use it up and I can't find it right now, so I don't think I used it up. I don't think I used it up. It's not in my used. I'm gonna do a used bag here pretty soon, but uh, the Nymphette, and it it makes a, a nudie but bit of a punch to it color, or not punch, but you know has a little more color to it. I just opened, and I've opened the last couple of weeks, the Le Volume Chanel um, Mascara. Oh, man. That is nice. Chris told me about it, and I see why she likes it. I like it as well as the Mally, and I still haven't opened up my um, Better Than Sex yet, so I don't know about that. But I do like that, and the Mally Volume Mascara is best. Uh, brush, I've been enjoying the Real Technique. It's the flatter one. It comes in the kit of uh, eye brushes. And I can use it to pack on, to blend, to crease, even to get in the corner. So sometimes I'll just use this one brush. Let's see, the last thing that I've been using a lot of, I don't have it on a lot of this. I don't have it on today because this was in a bag. I was going to film last night, but instead I had to help unload the truck of wood. And all I did was slide it to the... Okay. I'll tell you that in a minute. Um, I've been using the NARS, uh, which one is this? This is the brown one a lot, Via Epia. And I will have this mark on my hand for the rest of the day because it stays on that good. It's a brown. Um, it's not dark, dark, dark brown, but it's kind of a coppery brown and it has a little bit of um, shimmer, well, sheen. It has a little bit of sheen to it. Um, but if I'm not wearing false lashes, I really like it because it just gives a little puff, especially if you do your waterline too. Um, the other thing that I forgot to bring out because I need to take it <laughs> is my ibuprofen. I've been taking ibuprofen every four hours and I take four of them at a time because I have sciatica and my appointment isn't for another week and a half. Uh, I had made the appointment and it was going to be six weeks out, so I called back and said I need to get in sooner, so I'm only three weeks out. Uh, so they told me to, I can ice my back, because what it is, is it's a pinched nerve in your back. And I have lower back pain. But anyway, so you, uh, by now I can use heat or cold on my back. I'm not supposed to stand. I'm not supposed to sit. So how come I hurt so bad in the morning in bed? But anyway, I'm supposed to lie down which I don't do, and take all that ibuprofen. And the ibuprofen really helps. And I can tell the four hours is almost up because it's starting to go down my leg again. And so last night I helped a little bit with the unloading of the truck with the wood because I feel so guilty. But all I did was sit there and slide the wood forward so he could, hubby could, could stack it. So, you know, us ants have to get ready for winter. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me. Um, even my little haters still here that always gives me one thumbs down or sometimes up to three thumbs down. So um, welcome back and I'm trying to get more regular with our visits. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.